it lightened up my area. I was like, stop like. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am really, really excited for today's video because I feel like when it comes to the bikini line, you know, it's a thing that a lot of girls don't want to talk about because they're embarrassed or, you know, whatever the reason may be. I know for me, I was embarrassed. So I always did research behind the scenes to see how to lighten my bikini line area. And honestly, it kind of started since I was little because I never liked hair down there, you guys, ever since I was like maybe... 13 years old so I used to shave all the time but the thing about it is I didn't know the proper steps and care when it comes to your bikini line and just everything down there I would just shave without any shaving cream sometimes I just use water I wouldn't put any oils after to soothe the area so you can imagine how many razor bumps and scars and all of that that I had down there it was it's insane I don't I still can't believe I did that so Anyways, I finally went ahead and did some research in terms of how to lighten that area because getting older, you guys, I was just tired of feeling insecure with my bikini line and just wearing a swimsuit, going to the beach, going to the pool. I used to avoid it all the time because I was so embarrassed. Um, and it's not a 20 step routine. It's nothing crazy at all. It's very simple. And if it worked for me, I know it's going to work for you because when I tell you guys I have severe hyperpigmentation and scars, you won't believe it. So with that being said, if you're interested in this, make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into the video. Okay, so you guys heard the backstory when it comes to, you know, how I got hyperpigmentation in my bikini line. And I know some people, it's not really dependent on scarring or anything like that. It may just be genetics. Um, but I just realized I was doing a lot of things wrong. So I'm just gonna go in order of, you know, what I do to line the area up and all of that good stuff. So. Number one, first thing, I know everybody's different when it comes to their skin, but for me per se, I stopped shaving my, I keep wanting to say vagina, but my bikini line, I stopped doing all of that. I was no more shaving down there because I realized when you shave, you're going against your skin. And just for my skin tone per se, I want to say I always got a little bit more hyperpigmentation every time I shave. And it doesn't matter what area of my body it is, whether it's my underarms, my bikini line, anywhere that I have folds that I shave, it's always gonna go ahead and create darkness in that area. So what I do instead is I go ahead and wax and I get it professionally done. I do get it at the European Wax Center, you guys. And I know some people are iffy about that, but they're affordable and it works, okay? so. I go ahead and get a wax honestly every two months now because I've been doing it for about three years so it doesn't grow hair that fast anymore which I absolutely love but the thing about waxing is it gets rid of hyperpigmentation okay because it is pulling the hair from the root you don't have to keep going back and shave every single time or get waxed every single time the more you get waxed the longer it takes for your hair to grow back so do the math in your head. With waxing overall, it really helps to get rid of, you know, irritation, um, scar and things like that that usually happens when you do shave. So that is the biggest thing, you guys. Just doing that by itself, I saw a lot of results, you guys. Like, I didn't know about anything else till, you know, I started doing more research, but waxing is the biggest thing, okay? I know it's scary. I know it hurts. Honestly, I feel like I'm sometimes crazy because <laughs> when she goes ahead and whacks me, I'm just literally laughing because it is painful, it is uncomfortable, but you go there that one time and you probably want to come back till a month later, okay? For me, it's two months now because I have been doing it for three years. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go there. And also one thing I do love about the European Wax Center is they do have their passes. So depending on how many you want to get, if you go ahead and do it that way, you do save a little bit more money moving forward, okay? But I love it. I recommend it. Waxing is the number one step. So once you go ahead and get your wax, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing I learned, you guys, is you need to hydrate your bikini line and i don't know why it took me so long to understand that because think about it when you go ahead and get out the shower right you go ahead and moisturize your skin your body with lotions and oils we always go ahead and forget our bikini line and honestly it is something that it's easy to forget i mean i don't think like oh my gosh let me go ahead and oil down there you know what i mean but think about it if you're wearing 
certain underwears, jeans, whatever material that you're wearing for your pants, it is constantly rubbing against your bikini line. So you have to go ahead and moisturize it. And that's one of the biggest things that helped when it comes to getting rid of hyperpigmentation, you guys. It was so simple. Literally every single time I get out the shower, I go ahead and take certain oils and pat down there. So there's two main ones I do wanna talk about with you guys. And the first one is from Bush Bomb. So they do have their Bermuda oil. And when I read about it, I was like, there's no way that oils, and I mean literally it's an oil and a serum that they made, can get rid of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. I just didn't believe it. I'm like, there's no way. So I was like, all right, let me go ahead and try it. I got two. It is not something that you see in the first month. You're probably going to do it and you're like, wow, like this was a waste of time. But you guys, after two months, after three months, I think right now I'm at a year and a half, it lightened up my area. I was like, stop like, like oils, like oils, you guys, it's that simple. And I know with their Bermuda oil, they have your own concussion, but nonetheless, you guys, it is an oil. It is a serum. And I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay, it's literally just this and it really hydrates the area. And what they do recommend is as soon as you get out the shower, go ahead and apply this because your pores are still open um, from the steam and the heat of the shower. And you just go ahead and tap this in your area, let it dry and you're good to go. Like it is that simple. And it doesn't have any crazy scents. It smells really good, it smells very natural. And I'm telling you guys, this is the biggest thing as well alongside waxing that's really helped me get rid of hyperpigmentation in my bikini line, okay? And I love them so, so much. I probably bought around like 10 bottles at this point and they always have a sale or something going on. So go ahead and check them out. And they do have a whole system too as well in terms of like, um scrubs brushes things like that that really help to lighten down there so go ahead and check out their whole system but my favorite one from them is their bermuda oil so another serum i do want to recommend to you guys that i started using in conjunction to my bush balm serum is the european wax center brightened ingrown hair serum and this has vitamin c and azelaic acid and all this good stuff in here and it even has glycolic acid as well for gentle exfoliation Lily has all the good stuff, okay? Like when I read glycolic acid, azelaic acid, vitamin C, I'm like, yep, let me go ahead and get this. So they have this in their um, store. So I just go ahead and get it and it lasts you a long time. You do get about 50 milliliters with this one. So it does last a lot longer than my Bush Balm one. This one has about, doesn't say on here, but I know it's a lot less than this one. So this one has a little bit of a different consistency. It's more of a true serum like it's not gonna like really droop or anything um but it has a little bit more of a feel to it but i love this in conjunction to my bermuda oil because this one has the acids in there to truly line your area so this one by itself was already doing the job but once i went ahead and conjoined them together you guys it was a whole different ball game so literally same thing as soon as i get out the shower i go ahead and take one pump of this pat it in my area and then I take this one, pat it in my area and I'm good to go, okay? So I am telling you right now, if you don't moisturize or add oils or serums to your bikini line, this is the biggest, biggest thing you need to do when it comes to getting rid of scarring, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, all of that. And one story I do wanna tell you guys actually, um, so the reason why I really, really went hard with this research is because um, while I was doing my research, you guys, remember that product that I mentioned to you guys that got rid of the scarring on my face? Um, it's a very potent serum and I went ahead and used that. So for some reason in my head, I thought, ooh, let me go ahead and put it on my bikini line. When I tell you guys, I was burnt. Like literally, my skin was burnt. It was raw. It was so dark. I literally started crying. I was like, Chi Chi, you're already struggling with hyperpigmentation. Now you go ahead and add this item down there and you made it 10 times worse. Like when I tell you guys, it went about five shades darker down there because things like that, like whitening solutions or things that are supposed to line your skin, they're so potent. 
um you don't need to put it in you know sensitive areas like that and it's only good for the face you guys i literally put it in the areas that i had like dark spots things like that and it worked obviously you guys saw my video on how i got rid of my dark spots on my face but i should not have put it down there because it made it so much worse so when i'm telling you guys i came from the struggle okay trust me trust me these two save my life so last but not least is scrubs okay so when it comes to your bikini area the most important thing honestly to do is to make sure about twice a week i want to say that you're scrubbing down there um with certain products good products that won't like irritate your skin per se but we'll go ahead and just remove the dead skin um and just renew your skin okay so it is the biggest thing i learned because whenever i used to go get wax they will always ask me like hey did you scrub your um bikini line i was like no i didn't do that but i'm telling you it makes it a lot easier when it comes to waxing of course but also it makes it easier to get rid of hyperpigmentation because you are gently scrubbing that area so the first one i do want to mention is the skin fix resurface plus glycolic renew and scrub this is a pre-shower and in shower chemical and manual exfoliator and the reason why i really like this one is because it has all those acids in there and those acids really help to speed up removing hyperpigmentation all that good stuff in case you are wondering all the acids in here it does have glycolic acid lactic acid and i think that's the main two acids in there but i really really love this stuff and i actually got this recommendation from Aaliyah's face because she uses this for her body but i was like if i go ahead and use it for down there it should work as well um and it has more of a liquidy feel to it you guys it's not your typical scrub like it doesn't have like big chunks of like i don't even know what they use in scrubs but you know what i'm talking about it's not a big scrub is very finely milled a little bit grainy but nothing too too crazy and i love this because it is super gentle but with the acids in there you guys it is doing what it needs to do so twice a week i always go ahead and take this on sunday and wednesday and just gently scrub down there before i head into the shower you guys it is that simple and it really helps to speed up you know the process so i really really recommend this one they do have it at sephora i'm not sure about ulta but it is a skin fix brand and i do recommend this one okay so the last scrub i do want to mention to you is actually from my friend i mentioned this probably a while back a couple months ago um and it's called the herb vibe it's her brand but she has her triple body butter scrub which i am so obsessed with you guys because i think i sent that video too i have tried a lot of scrubs and i'm not saying this because she's my friend okay unless i wouldn't put in the video but i have tried a lot of scrubs but this one is the most moisturizing scrub i have ever felt okay it has shea butter cocoa butter and mango butter in here literally you go ahead and scrub down there you guys or your whole body in general and it, it feels like you're scrubbing like it actually feels like you're doing something you go in the shower you wash it off and your skin feels so soft and so smooth okay so i'm telling you guys if you don't have this you're missing out um but it's so nice i really really truly do love it but i also go ahead and use this if i want a little bit more exfoliation because like i told you guys this one is more liquid and super fine so sometimes i feel like it's not really doing the job but i love the acids that it has in here but this one once i want to go ahead and really get a good exfoliation going this one is my favorite and i'm honestly running out so i need to go ahead and get another one um but this gives me a deeper scrub and so these two together you guys have been doing the job um and i just i love them so much but one thing i do want to mention that i really haven't gotten into yet but it's actually ordered from the cookie shop i believe is what they're called but they're super popular when it comes to feminine products but i do have and i'm saying this correctly they're vagishal like a facial but vagishal i'm probably saying it wrong but you know what i'm talking about like a mask for your feminine part you go ahead and mix it together and apply it on there and i feel like that's gonna really help because i believe hers has turmeric in it which is really good and i also know you can go ahead and get it professionally done at places too as well i haven't gotten into that yet but i feel like that's something that's gonna be super good when it comes to treating yourself down there um so that's something i'm gonna look into it's gonna be here soon honestly so um if it is good i will put it in a favorites video but you guys that was it that was it 
it's not 20 steps it's nothing complicated okay i honestly repeated two items which is like two scrubs and two serums so if you go ahead and just get one of each it's really not that many steps so i am telling you right now definitely go ahead and incorporate these items into your routine you are going to see a difference and if you do try it out let me know down below but yes hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one